Hey y'all, so now we're looking at the 2021 AP free response questions. Now these are the released questions. If you guys see different questions, I get this question a lot, is if you took an AP Physics 2 exam that were different questions, those questions are typically not released. So these are the released questions that you can find on the College Board website. And as usual, uh, if I have any mistakes, and I'm more likely to have mistakes on Physics 2, thermodynamics is not my strong suit. So if I do have any mistakes, um, feel free to check in the description below. I will try to keep that updated with any corrections that people point out or any mistakes that I find later. Number one, a sample of ideal gas is taken through a thermodynamic cycle as shown above. Process C is isothermal. Okay, so uh, consider the portion of the cycle that takes the gas from state one to state three by processes A and B and calculate the magnitude of the following and indicate the sign of any non-zero quantities. Okay, the net change in the internal energy, the net work done on the gas, the net energy transferred to the gas by heating. So if we're doing work on the gas and the, the, the standard convention that we would use is the change in the internal energy is how much work is done on the gas plus how much is heat is added to the gas. So this is what we're gonna do here. Now what can we figure out when we're going from one to three here is we can definitely figure out work. Work is pressure times the change in volume specifically. Now, I tend to think of it as like, do I think the gas is doing positive or negative work? If it is, if the gas is working on the, is expanding, it's, it's negative work is being done on the gas. That means the gas is doing work because it is expanding. And you can see when you go from here to here, the volume is expanding at a, at a pressure, so you can just calculate um, this area as simply uh, negative work being done. So let's find the negative work. So this is negative the pressure, which is 100 times 10 to the third pascals, times the change in volume. And the change in volume goes from 1 to 4. So that's a change in 3 times 10 to the minus 3. And that's going to equal um, the, the, the 10 of the 3's cancel. It's going to be negative 300 joules. Okay, so that's the work part. It is negative work because the gas is expanding. Okay. Um, how about the change in internal energy of this gas? Let's look at this one. Now, one of the, one of the formulas we use is U is equal to uh, 3 halves nRT. Okay, that's uh, one of the quantities we, and then we also look at the equation PV equals nRT. So you can look at the internal energy at any point in time as three halves PV, right? Now, in terms of, because PV equals nRT also. So, so this is our, and then we wanna do the change in energy. So that means we wanna calculate three halves PV at this point and three halves PV at this point, and then just simply take the difference. So we're gonna do three halves, times four times 10 to the um, minus three times the pressure at 0.3, which is 25 times 10 to the three Pascals. That's the final. And then we started with how much energy is the energy at 0.1, which would be three halves times 100 times 10 to the minus, times 10 to the three Pascals times the volume, which is one times 10 to the minus three cubic meters, okay? So let's do that difference. Oops, uh, my calculator was knocked over here. So I'm gonna do 1.5 times. Minus. Oh, I got zero. So the change in internal energy was zero. And then finally I can solve for Q. Q would equal delta U minus W which is zero minus negative 300 joules, which means we must have added 300 joules. And that should make sense because I lost some energy because the gas expanded and did work, right? But if the total change in my energy system is zero, then I must have added heat in order for that to happen. All right, awesome. Consider the isothermal process part C. Compare the magnitude and sign of the work done on the gas at process C to the magnitude and sign of the work in the portion and cycle part A and support your answers using feature of the graph. Well, in this case, in terms of the sign of the work, what's happening in this scenario is that the gas is now being compressed. And if you compress the graph, 
uh, sorry, if you compress the gas, you are doing work on the gas because you're applying a force and you're displacing in the same direction. So you are compressing the gas, so you're doing positive work on the gas. So we would say um, the work in, in part C has a positive sign. Because, oops, because the the volume of the gas is decreasing. So going left, going left on the curved, on the curve. How about the magnitude? Well, the area under um, the, the, the curve for C is less than the area under the curve for process one. Oh, sorry, for let's say, uh, yeah, process C, under the curve for process one. And that implies that the work, the magnitude of the work on C is less than the magnitude of the work from the AB process. Okay. So in other words, when you do from A to B, that area is larger than this area because this is the area of the work being done on the gas, right? So that's, that's what we look at there. Okay, cool. Explain how the microscopic behavior of the gas particles changes in the size of the container. Um, affect interactions on the microscopic level and produce the observed pressure differences be between the beginning and end of process C. Um, okay, so in process C, so first, let's. What does isothermal mean? I think isothermal is adiabatic is no temperature, and isothermal is no heat added. Oh, this is where I'm. My uh, this is where I am not great at that. It's a constant temperature. I think is iso. Iso is constant thermal. I think. I think it's constant temperature for isothermal. Uh, let me double check when I look this up. Okay, constant temperature. I didn't want to get that one wrong, so I had to look up that. I, I, I'm like I said, my thermodynamics is a little bit weak. Okay, so it's constant temperature is what's happening here. So we're we're doing constant temperature. So isothermal is constant temperature. So what's happening is that the um, the volume is reducing and the pressure is increasing. So we're having the volume decreases, which means constant temperature, by the way, means they have like the same average kinetic energy. Or or it'll say constant average kinetic energy. It, so, so when you decrease the volume, which means the collisions with the sides of the container occur more frequently. Because the walls are closer together. Because the walls are closer together. So when you decrease the volume and they're moving at the same speed, they hit the walls more frequently because they bounce back and forth between the walls. That results in and that results in increased pressure. This is this uh, increased collisions. Uh, results in higher pressure. Okay, and that's what I would say for that one. All right, consider two samples of the gas, each with the same number of gas particles. Sample two is in state two, sample three is in state three, as shown in the graph. The samples are put into thermal contact, as shown above. Indicate the direction of, en of if any, of energy transfer between the samples. Support your answer using macroscopic thermodynamic principles. So state two, it really has to do with the temperature. Um, how does the temperature compare? Um, basically, so between state two and state three, what we've done is we've kept the volume constant, but we've decreased the pressure. But you know that PV equals NRT 
or p p over t would have to be constant because it'd be nr over v and we're keeping constant volume so as you decrease the pressure you decrease the temperature so state three is at a lower temperature than state two that's what you have to like reason out so because state because state three is at a lower temperature by the second law of thermodynamics, when you're having contact, things just flow from higher temperature to lower temperature. That's the second law of thermodynamics. So I would say that, um, I would say state two has a higher temperature than state three because, if you want to justify that, because um, um, volume is constant, volume is the same, but uh, state two has higher pressure. From PV equals nRT. Okay, um, by the second law of thermodynamics, Uh, heat flows from higher temperature to lower temperature to lower temperature so heat flows from 2 to 3 uh, state the do, 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 indicate direction of any so to the right I don't know if you want to say to the right. So to the right. If you want to be super clear, and I'm going to put a little arrow there to indicate that's what I would say. Okay? So that's that one. 